<laughs> this is on the way to, to the uh, Cedar National Monument, a national park. And there's a stop uh, a couple of miles south of the uh, park. And this is the Zion Overlook. This is where we were yesterday in Zion National Park. But gives you an idea of uh, just how gorgeous it is. And imagine being in the 1800s and trying to come across this. Unbelievable. On one of the overlooks on Cedar Break. And yes, I am a little out of breath. Quite a climb. Uh, elevation up here is about 10,600 feet. Just to let you know, it's 53 degrees at 8.30 a.m. this morning up here. So, needless to say, I have a jacket and long gloves. It's a bit brisk. This will give you an idea of the climb. Uh, not for the out of shape like me to say the least. 10,350 feet. And it's uh, a little chilly. Hard to believe it was 105 yesterday in Las Vegas when I left. Anyway, take a look at this, how spectacular it is. Okay, this is the view from Sunset Point. You can only imagine what this is like at sunset. Now we'll view down in the bottom. Okay, we're on Chessman Ridge, elevation 10,500 feet. And as you can see, many of the formations look like chess pieces, and I guess that's how it got its name. But absolutely spectacular, is all you can say. It's amazing the vegetation up at this high altitude, although there is a lot of uh, tree damage, which I've been told by the park rangers, partly because of uh, acid rain, which is a shame. So uh, coming up, you can see some of the uh, trees that are down. This is the last viewpoint and Cedar Breaks and yes that is snow but this is the view from the northern entrance to the park if you look down here it actually uh, looks like it had some old rooms and stuff once upon a time from the different formations and I doubt that you can see that far because it's tough without a lot of focus. But up on the mountainside over here are a couple of large Doppler radar uh, 
instruments and there's a big sign here that said lightning can be hazardous please uh, beware so I guess being this high up when lightning strikes you're a uh, primo target but notice the different colors in the rock formation and then once again you get up here and uh, you can see some of the vegetation and the effect that acid rain and other factors have had on the uh, the trees around here and actually if we continued uh, north we'd go over that ridge but we're going in a different direction we're leaving here and going to uh, um, Bryce Canyon which if it's any prettier than this it ought to be great so once again we'll leave you with a picture of the snow stay warm